Hey guys, it's Maite. Welcome back to the channel where I cover all things homemaking and home management related, which of course includes planners. Now we are back to our regular scheduled planner review programming. If you are not new to this channel, you know that I have done a lot of planner reviews over here. It is planner launch season currently as I'm filming it this. It is September, which means I cannot keep up with all of the planner launches that are coming out. The ones that came out for the academic year, the ones that are coming out for January 2021. And I have quite a few planners to review for you guys. And those will be bonus videos that I will be putting up on Fridays. So you're going to want to subscribe and hit the notification bell because you're not going to want to miss out on those planners. I'm kicking off this season with these two beautiful academic planners from the Kit Life Planners. I love them. I love their brand. I think they are just a phenomenal company. I have worked with them in the past before and it's crazy to see how much their planners have really changed. They were kind enough to send these along to me to review for you guys. So let's jump into it. Before I go any further, these are currently on sale right now on their website for 20% off. That's why I'm rushing to get this video up as soon as I can. However, if you are watching this later and you have missed the sale, I will leave a code in the description box down below so you guys can get $5 off. This gorgeous marble planner is their weekly dated version. Now this runs from July 2020 all the way to June 2021, so standard academic year. It comes with this gorgeous navy elastic band that matches the planner. I mean, it is just even more gorgeous in person. I know this looks a little bit darker on camera, but it's a very deep navy. It is wire O bounding. I feel like you either hate it or you are okay with it. There's kind of no in between with wire O bounding. It is what it is. The planner is seven and a half inches wide by eight inches long. So it's about three quarters of an inch thick, which is great because that means it's really portable. It's 100 GSM paper, which translates to 27 pounds, and it does feel nice to the touch. It's not super luxe paper, and it's not super heavy, which makes sense because the planner is not super heavy, but it's not super flimsy paper by any means. It also comes with stickers, two sheets of stickers, which I will go into in the extra section of this video, and it does have a pocket at the beginning of the planner. The front and back covers of these planners are quite a sturdy chipboard. I can't really bend it. I have to try very hard to do that. So these seem very sturdy and well made. Here is the fun cover page in the planner. And then you move on to a little bit about the Kit Life Girls and a little bit more on how to use this planner. They're very into self-care, health, wellness, all those things. So their planners usually have a lot of those prompts throughout. You guys know I like to zoom you in nice and close. You can see the fonts on the calendar page and the color scheme. So this is their monthly check-in page and this is where those health and wellness prompts really come to light. So on this side of the spread, you have four spaces for your monthly goals and then it gives you a prompt to focus on personal and professional goals. You then have a section for habits to support your monthly goals. So you again have four spaces to write those habits and then you have these little checklists that say whether it's a daily habit or a weekly habit which makes sense you need to change your habits to meet your monthly goals and then you have a monthly habit tracking section so that gives you all 31 days and you have space for quite a few habits on the side but just note that the boxes are like graph paper boxes they're very small and then you have a little section on the bottom for notes. And then on the other side, you have books to read. And then it gives you prompts here. Get a book recommendation from a friend, podcast to listen to. It says for walks, car rides, and commutes. 
also have plans to be social those were the days this is book a call with long distance friend healthy eating intentions and fitness and movement plans so here's the weekly spread it is horizontal and you have monday through thursday on this side of the page you have a little section for gratitude on the bottom and then you have friday through sunday and then a large section for to do's so the weekends are separate which is great i love separate weekends and you do get quite a big section for to do's so i'm not sure if you guys can see it or if it's picking up on camera but there are the faintest check boxes at the edge of all of the weekly spaces and then you have a little prompt here for an item of self-care so it continues the color scheme from the monthly planner and in the gratitude section it's organized by day of the week which also has the same little color icon so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and on the other side of the page you have a weekly goal on top and the same formatting and then in this to do section you have a little banner here that says big three which i'm guessing is for your top three to do's so the rest of the planner continues the exact same way up until when you get to the end and you have all of the extras so you have monthly budget pages and you get 12 of those because you get two budget columns per page so like i said you get two months per page so you have a spot for income and then they laid out all of the possible expenses you could have for the month so savings mortgage rent etc 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 gas and then you have four slots for groceries one for each week of the month and then an entertainment section as well as a total so again you get 12 of those for you so you're covered for the whole year after that you get these meal planner pages which are really cool because they have a perforated page so this side has perforated edging so you can tear this out and just take it to the grocery store with you so you have your weekly meal plan on the left side so that runs monday all the way through sunday and then you also have an organized grocery list which is really nice to see because sometimes with the half page grocery list it's just lines but they went ahead and organized it by um, grocery store aisle so fresh produce meat and dairy dry goods frozen foods and the rest of it usually i only see those on meal planning pages that take up an entire page Ooh, it also has a checklist for making sure that you pack your reusable bags always forget that and a checkbox to check off that you actually meal planned so you do get 10 weeks of these so you don't get a ton then after the meal plan, you have the travel planner. Again, this side also has a perforated page for your packing list, which I find pretty cool. Your flight information, departing, returning, uh, accommodations, reservations, notes and things to do. And then your packing list essentials. So clothing, accessories, toiletries and beauty, other not sure i could fit an entire packing list personally on one of these but this is really good if you needed just to jot down the really important things that you don't want to forget so that you can just tear it out and put it in your travel bag and you get four of these front and back included so that will last you for four big trips then you get 11 note pages that are just simple line note pages so that's 11 including front and back and at the very back of the planner, you get forward planning pages for 2020 and 2021, which are the exact same. So on this side of the spread, you get your year at a glance at the top, as well as important holidays. And then on the other side of the spread, 
you have your perpetual calendar from January through December, and it is color-coded by quarter of the year. So there's two sheets of stickers that come in both planners. They're the exact same, and they have these icon stickers that correlate to the colors that you see in the planner. So they're just very functional stickers. You have grocery cart, workout, I believe that's food, money, and then you have these teardrop stickers and heart stickers. And then you also have these monthly tab stickers. So if you guys didn't notice, there are no tabs in the planner, but you can put tabs on the planner if you want. And so they do provide the tabs for you, which I think is great because I love tabs in my planner. And then you have these little quote stickers and then more icon stickers. So before I go into my thoughts about the weekly planner, I just want to go into a little pen test that I did with my Papermate Inkjoy gel pen and my Flare pen and some mild liner type liners. So as you can see, it's on this page. There is quite a bit of ghosting that I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but like if I lift up the page, more light comes through. So it makes it look worse than what it actually is but there is quite a bit of ghosting and there is a little bit of bleed through with the highlighter right here and then the paper mat paper mate flare pen down here you also get a bit of ghosting but not sure if that's picking up on camera so before I move into the daily planner, I do have overall thoughts on the weekly planner. As you can see, there's not a ton of room to write things. And so having these prompts here does take up quite a bit of your writing space. And see up here, you only have three lines to write books. And so this takes up half of an entire line. And because this is a smaller planner and because from a design standpoint, they did choose to make each section quite um, slim. My suggestion would be to maybe put these like on the first month in July and then get rid of them for the rest of the year just because I feel like this could really get in the way of your writing since you don't have that much room to begin with. Following that train of thought back on the weekly spread, at the bottom you have this gratitude section and again you don't have a lot of space in this planner and so I would have honestly preferred if they had left this blank because, as I mentioned earlier, you only have 10 weekly meal planning pages. So this could have been like a great space to put your dinners for the week because you don't have a ton of space to put that anywhere else in the weekly spread. So on to the undated daily planner. The specs are the exact same as the weekly planner, except for, I think this is slightly, I measured it, but it's ever so slightly thicker than the weekly dated planner. The colors of the coil are different. They're this beautiful yellow gold color as opposed to the silver color on the weekly planner. So the cover page is the same. The only difference is instead of having the date, it just says undated daily kit. Then these prompts are also the same as the weekly planner. And then the monthly view changes a little bit. Your monthly pages are also all at the front of the planner, obviously, because it's undated. So the monthly view is very similar to the weekly, but the major change is that there is just one solid note section on the side as opposed to the at a glance section, obviously, because this is undated and I honestly prefer this long note section more. I hardly ever use that little at a glance in the corner anyway on my monthly. I don't even think it's big enough but that's personal and there's a space to put the month for you to fill in and then obviously there are no holidays on the planner and then you have five rows of monthly boxes. The monthly check-in is also the exact same. The difference is that the month is not written in there for you. So just going through that quickly because I already showed that in the weekly. And 
The difference in the undated, however, is that all of your monthly check-ins are at the beginning of the planner. So as opposed to the weekly section where these spreads are dispersed from month to month, you get all 12 of these at the beginning and then it goes into your daily pages. So here is your daily page. So you have date up at the top, the big three again, similar to the weekly planner, and then you get 15 rows, 30 if you include this divider here for to-dos or whatever you want at the top of your planner. And again, I don't know if you can see that, but you have faint checklists over here. And on the bottom, you have an hourly section that runs from six to eight with a line per hour. So it is not split up in half hour increments. This is very signature kit life, having like a small little hourly section and a line to do section kind of split that way. If I remember correctly, they had that in like their big daily planner way back in the day as well. They also have a similar setup in their weekly vertical Wux planner. And on this side of the page, you have your gratitude, activity, and meal planning spaces. So I love that they have like a little space here. And then at the bottom, it has quotes, refuse to settle for anything less than butterflies. My bad, you guys. I guess I didn't notice that, that in the weekly planner, you also have quotes, but they're on one side of the weekly spread. But in the undated daily planner, you have one on each spread. So the daily pages continue until the end. So again, you get the forward planning pages that you got in the weekly planner. But now in this undated planner, they also give you 2022. But if you covered this up and just wanted to use this side, you could use it way beyond that if you wanted to. And then at the very end, you have their lined paper and you get five of these, including front to back. So on to pricing and whether I think you should buy these planners or not. So this planner, the weekly planner, retails for $22. And like I mentioned, it's currently on sale for 20% off. In the undated daily planner, which you get six months of daily pages in this planner, and this retails for $25, which is also currently on sale. I think $22 for a weekly planner of this quality, you just really can't beat it. I think this is perfect for students. I think that the horizontal layout that they chose is perfect for writing assignments because to be honest, you really don't have a ton of room and I can't see planning your entire life in these boxes, but I can see you writing due dates, assignments, all of those things similar to a planner that I used to use in college as well. I also think all of the extras in this planner are also geared towards a young adult, someone living on their own for the first time because you have all your monthly budget pages, meal planning pages, travel pages. So it really is all in one and I think it's a very robust planner for a student for $22. And as I mentioned before, it's super portable, very light, and it's affordable. And I think you really can't beat it when it comes to academic planners because it's also really gorgeous. So if you're looking for a little bit something extra, but you're not trying to break the bank, I think this is a very good option for you. This daily planner I can see appealing to a lot of people because the color scheme is a bit more muted. It's the same colors, but there's less of them on the page just due to the layout of the planner. And so that's a little bit more muted and there's a lot more flexibility within the page. And so I can definitely see this as a main planner for a lot of you, but I can also see this as a secondary daily planner because it has six months worth of dates and you can easily pair it with a vertical weekly planner, maybe something that's a little bit more intense, but maybe you don't want to spend a ton of money or really invest in a very large daily planner that's a little bit more cumbersome to 
travel with because as I've mentioned, these are really easy to throw in your bag. So I can also see this as a great secondary planner for someone who just wants undated daily pages and isn't going to use up a full year consecutively of daily pages in another planner. Now, if you buy two of these planners, you're already in the $50 something range if you want to cover the year plus shipping. So you are already up there with other planners at a higher price point. At that point, I'm not sure if you would want to split it up. Maybe you would want to, like I mentioned, because of portability reasons. So just keep that in mind if you are looking at this for the whole year. It is a lot more affordable than a lot of other planners I've seen that are doing this 90 day subscription planner thing where by the end of the year you spent like hundreds of dollars on a planner. So it's definitely more affordable than that, but keep that in mind if you are comparing this to other daily planners on the market. I do want to shout out Kit Life though for making an entirely separate line for their academic planners. You can tell the thought that went into this and really catering this towards students. I do feel like they have different needs and just making something separate and at a more affordable price point is what makes this line so great. If you like what you see from this brand, but maybe you're looking for a different layout, a weekly vertical, something more neutral, don't worry because they do have their Lux line, which I am very excited about. And that is part of their 2021 launch. They do have that 2020 planner currently on sale, but that is a weekly vertical neutral. And I do believe they also have a weekly vertical colorful. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get my hands on those planners, but if I do, I will obviously make a video of it and review it for you guys. So just stay tuned for that because if you like what you saw, but you're not sure about the layout, they are launching their Lux line again this year for 2021. And that should be here in October. Let me know what you think about these academic planners in the comments below. I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Give this video a like if you liked it. And as always, I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.